Hi right, guys, in front of me I've got your uh, final take home task with three mini reports. Um, this, as you know, is worth 30 out of 40 of your uh, final exam. You still have to do 50 multiple choice questions, but clearly not here. You'll be doing that in Moodle online. Now, previously I had, um, I'd given you five questions out of seven due to student um, feedback. They said, come on, Lars, give us a break. So you only have to do three mini reports from the five topics below. So what I want you to do, your first step is literally read the questions. Now, first thing you must realize is that there are two compulsory questions. So you have question one, you have to do this. Question two, you have to do this. Um, now, where I give you some flexibilities, you actually only need to do one more from the following three questions. So you've got one on purchasing buying behavior. You've got one here which looks at digital marketing, social media to reach a target audience on gyms. I mean, this is an area you guys are familiar with. And um, the final one is this will be um, straight out of a lecture, pretty much. What's the future of marketing? What do we need to be aware of? Um, there are multiple topics, so in this question, you'd put a table together um, and pick one. I mean, nothing difficult about the questions, guys. Plenty of time to prepare. Now, where it's going to get interesting is how do you address this? Now, what I would do is make a copy in Word of this document. And the first thing I would do is go through the questions and go, well, you know what? I've got to do one and two. Um, I don't have to do any of the others. Um, so, you know what, I really, really dislike, say, question three, get rid of it, okay, gone. Um, question four, um, digital marketing, yeah, that sounds good, I'll keep that one, really don't want to do this, bang. That's step one, you've identified the three questions you want to do. Now, on the Moodle site previously, I had your template with a margin down the right-hand side, um, little mini references in there that doesn't work um, i trialed it with uh, myself um, a few other students who had um, looked at it went lice i'm spending more time formatting it than not so the new way to do it is literally what i want you to do guys is go to the question okay now i expect the length to be seven pages all up um, i'll specify that when i, I post this to the moodle site and um, so what we're looking at, the quickest way is just answer the question. So I would use the actual question headings. I'd highlight them there and I would go, okay, what are the key concepts? So um, if I was putting there customer satisfaction relates, and my typing sucks, to the value that consumers receive okay now i would normally grab this straight from online um, a, a source and guys if you do you need to use the original quote so that's going to be a direct quote now what will happen is turn it in we'll um probably pick it up as a similarity but it's official quote so say this was out of our textbook instead of putting elliot etc right i just want you to go we'll go to a simple footnote system one now this is the trick in this section guys before we go to the next section or wherever you want to start if you want to start there i want you to put in what a new thing called section references right you insert this label here Bold. And this is where you would put one, the full reference. Okay, so you can see if we get a second um, reference, say it's from a blog, so if it's customer and this is a direct cut and paste, okay, we would then go. Right, two. Okay, 
we would literally then drop it in, put the correct reference here. Now, the only additional thing I want you to do is that once you've done each of your section references, um, go to the end of the report. Once we're done, right, after you will also have section references here. And then you just add final reference section and put place all references here, um, here as they appear. appear. So literally just cut and paste where they are, um, cut and paste, paste the previous references in here, right? Don't worry about alphabetical order. So immediately when we're marking it, we're going to go scroll down to your total reference section and go, okay, gee, they've done a lot of good work. Then I'd go straight back here and just go, yep, there it is. Oh, great, they've got the references here. Tick, you keep your marks. Oh, draw key models. And this is a question a lot of students are saying, how big would you do it? Well, guys, if I go to Google, and um, what do I want? Okay, sorry, that's my video recorder. I want to launch, um, let's say, customer satisfaction model. We go to images. All right, I grab that. I copy that. We're just waiting for it to, to load up. Um, all right, there it is. So copy image. I go back to my Word document. I go paste picture. All right, guys, realistically, that's, that'll do. All right, as long as our tired old eyes can read the words, right? That's fine. So what I would do there, I would put one, um, or if you want to be smart about it, put the actual reference there on the model. So it's directly there. Okay, all you need to do is show us you've done the work. Here it is, bang. So if I went back to, um, to Google, Right, and pick the, another model, say, all right, I like this one. This one's got pretty colors. Right, I'll go back to my word one. I would go, paste, gee, shit, that, that's too big. Um, right, we drop it in, and the second reference, and literally, I'd go back and just go, okay, what was the, the reference? Right, it's at the top. Okay, I go to the the web link, copy. Um, I go back to the Word document. I go enter, control V. Look, that would even work. And if we did the same up here, that's fine, guys. We know you've got two models. Now, what you may want to do is put additionally here, if you can, some examples or underneath go examples are as well. To, just to support the model. But that's realistically all you need to do, guys. And we go right through. Um, yeah, I would go, that's at my next heading. All right, so I would go up here and go, okay, let's start talking about this. Again, I would put section references. And uh, learning, obviously, keep your formatting together. Um, yeah, keep the formatting of this document. So don't change it. It's Calibri one and a half. And guys, and that's just what we do. You put references, you put all your references here, you're done, right? And then you move on to question two and you repeat the process. It's that simple. All right, guys, I hope this helps.
Uh, we'll discuss it in tutorials um, to make sure that it's okay, but that's